Okay. Uh, because this is an HTML5 project, it's multiple files. And I've been having less luck making it work on other systems than I thought I would. Like, I copied it to my desktop computer and suddenly it wouldn't load, which was fun. Uh, but other people I've emailed it to haven't had that problem, so I don't know what's going on. So instead of trying to do that, I'm just going to make this little video. I have to open it in Internet Explorer because it works best in that for some reason. A little bit of delay. Then all the audio starts right at the beginning. This is a infinitely looping uh, motion tween uh, on these little pieces here. And then I click this button. And now this infinitely loops until someone clicks this button. And little kitty steps up to the sink and starts hassling the faucet. And now, well, spigot. And now that loops infinitely. And then you can click here, and it'll start over. Very loudly, huh. But, yeah. Um, that's my little interactive animation final. Here's the timeline. Um, so for the opener bit, this little guy, if you're down here in the bottom, that guy is a object, a symbol called a movie clip. So if I double click on him, I go inside. Now there's another set of layers and a timeline inside this symbol object that is a movie clip. And I made these little keyframes of these, like there's his foot, turn it off and on, and his tongue, turn it off and on, etc. So each one of those is a its own layer. And I motion tween them between my keyframes. And that's all the kitty's movement and his purring sound effect happens inside that symbol. And the overall background music. I, ha I had to make a new layer and stick my signature on it and make that into a symbol and inside that there is just that loop of the audio. I had to do that because when I tried to do background audio for this thing in using Adobe Animate uh, and HTML5 it just doesn't work and they tell you it just doesn't work and their solution is uh, make your make your thing in uh, action script, which is Flash, which is obsolete now, and then uh, convert it to HTML5. Which, uh, spoiler alert, if you do that, all your buttons stop working, and you have to reload, all, re rewrite all your code. So that's fun. Uh, but hey, you know the market decided, I guess, that Adobe's best, even though Adobe sucks. Anywho, that's a, a healthy way to express emotion. Uh, my sink right here is its own little object inside of which you can see I I made a many many hand drawn frames which are the water droplets dripping bloop 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 and each one has a unique drip sound effect that I made well I didn't make it I stole it stole it off the internet and the kitty cat over here is his own symbol another movie clip with hand drawn frames. Bop, 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 bop. Stretchy, 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 stretchy. Really, really lazy and bad walk cycle because <laughs> I was running out of time. And then he, I realized the walk cycle is not going well. So at that point, I decided to have him jump and he does a little, a little hop, flip, and he lands there and he sits down. And then I run him through a cycle of that tail twitchy thing. Which, if I come back out to the big timeline and go over, then loops indefinitely here. It's, it's just just uh, 14 frames, seven of which are keyed, and the others are just extended versions of that. So all the animations actually operate at half of the 30 FPS that the whole project runs at, because I didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> That's the running theme for this project. Anywho, somebody will click that button, 
uh, which will activate this little bit of code, meow, which just tells it to go to and play frame 349, which you'll notice is this frame, which then starts the kitty cat on this new little sequence of hand animated frames where he stands up and steps forward and settles in and starts hassling the faucet. At which point, burp, 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 obviously, woo, meh, we go into this infinite loop. And that's the gist of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that was fun. It is kind of weird, because if I run it in, say, Chrome, it loads up the video. Dot, 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 dot. And then the purring will start eventually. Like now. Like now. How about now? Hey, there it is. And then the music will start a little while after that. Eventually. Da, 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 da. Hey, there it is. And then after that, everything's normal. Just, <laughs> just rolls on through. Blah, blah, blah. And he plays in the sink. And then you restart, and everything's normal. And then if I try to run it <laughs> in Firefox, uh, the buttons don't work. <laughs> And if I look in the web developer console, it's mad about the security restrictions. <laughs> uh, and it has the delayed audio on the music as well. Who knew? Who knew this stuff was as, as difficult as it is? Uh, there's, there's basically no code in this at all. There's just a few, hey, go here and do this things. Uh, maybe my security settings are too strict. I don't know. Um, in my Firefox, because that's the browser I use. But yeah, there's nothing special in this. And I thought the whole reason we were going to HTML5 from Flash was because it was so easy to hide malicious content in Flash. And there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing in here that's bad. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess buttons could be bad. Therefore, we're going to treat them as definitely bad. I don't know. Uh, I did all of this in 27 hours. The animation was 19 and figuring out... Oh yeah, all the animation, all the drawing, all of it. 19 hours. And figuring out the audio was the remaining... I don't know, 8, I guess. Uh, started it Monday, finished it Wednesday. <laughs> so, that's that. Goodbye.